Welcome back to my channel. I'm Martin Senkubuge. I do charcoal drawings and mostly inspired by skin condition vitiligo. I mostly use charcoal on paper and I do a technique called hyperrealism where I draw something close to a photograph or even sometimes better than a photograph like some people tell me and in today's video we are going to share more about this particular work that you are seeing right now that i'm working on uh, which happens to be one of the most complicated drawings i've done in my life um, uh, especially with this that you're seeing on the screen like because it has been uh, a bit tricky and you know uh, coming up with every detail dropping every piece of detail as you're going to be seeing all throughout this video and um yeah let's, let's carry on and let's enjoy the process so as you can see already i use a number of materials uh different tools and um uh, Basically, these have helped me so much to uh, better my game in terms of detail, in terms of um, achieving what I always want to achieve in my work. And um, it being hyperrealism, doing something that is more than realism, more than realistic drawing, uh, it is really, really amazing for me because uh, it gives me... Uh, the opportunity to explore a different world a world where there is no rush you know as you can see the way i handle my details put a detail you know you hold on you observe you study something you construct it so i mostly work with layers uh, whereby i start with the uh, simple lines of sketch and then I put um, the charcoal dust and then later on I start detailing. Sometimes it really needs a lot of concentration and yeah, you just have to be in a one person's world where you're not being taken by any obstructions or any disruptions and um, yeah every time I'm drawing I'm in a different world I'm, I'm in just my own space you know yeah so as you can see I'm using a mono zero eraser and it has always helped me to pick those details uh, very light and not too sharp and then this very machine this uh, tool it's an electric eraser which helps me get those sharp uh, white and lightest if, if i can say yeah lightest highlights yes. video there is something very very interesting and um, something that I observed and which I'm going to share towards the end I've always drawn in my in most of my drawings I find myself um, living a certain part <laughs> I never knew why why is it that it always comes last why is it that I always draw this particular part of the body or of the portrait last yeah and i'll share at the end towards the end and yeah so as you can see i'm now using a blending stamp and this blending stamp um, mostly helps me to uh to, to make the pencil strokes 
uh, a bit relaxed so that they can be relaxed and um, yeah it's quite interesting to you find myself listening to music uh, I always want to find a world um, meet those uh, different rhythms up there in, the, in a different world uh, however I sometimes I've always been asked actually mostly by a few friends that way which kind of music do I listen to I basically listen to uh, rap music and nasty c has been on my has been on my playlists always and then worship music yeah i always want to be thankful to god for the gift of course and um yeah basically that is the kind of music then maybe sometimes when when i just want to have a vibe that's when i put in any kind of song and sometimes I put on our local Ugandan music, Kadongo Kamo, is uh, more of traditional music of Uganda. I always want to listen to those instruments, the musical instruments, uh, like the fiddle, which I personally play, a tube fiddle. And um, yeah, the adungus and all the other uh, instruments. I always want to pick those sounds which are so natural and which are very 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 um yeah very simple uh, but very amazing in in the same way so yeah here i use tissue and make my background uh, a bit dark uh, dark enough to get the contrasts i want and then of course i keep coming back like i said i use layers there's different layers so i put a layer then blend it with with tissue and again come back with my charcoal again make another layer and blend it as well with tissue or with a brush depending on how much charcoal you have put on paper and depending on the tone you want to achieve. Yeah, that one part, the ear. It has always been something very, very common in my drawings. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it has always been something that I've always found myself working on the rest of the things. And the ear is always left. And I think this relates to so many other artists because they i remember i was working with my professor in sculpture um at some point he would always work on the face and everything then he leaves the ears and he calls upon hey martin come and work on the ears so i found myself just working on the ears because he was he was neglecting them there's something interesting i remember when we were still kids when we were still little um uh, maybe let's say it was Christmas or any other day where we were going to have a nice meal. A nice meal meaning that uh, someone like me who grew up in a humble background, uh, my nice meal would be having meat, you know, like eating meat. So I would always find myself pushing the meat, you know, with my finger and first collect all the food, first eat whatever is around and then meat comes last so something very nice is eaten last and i think an ear is an interesting part on a human body an ear is something very very uh, intriguing you know it has certain curves that you don't just achieve you have to be keen you have to be patient you have to be very you know intellectual in the way you handle your material in the way you handle your work 
yeah so as you can see using the stamps and uh, the blending stamps and then the, the charcoal the brush now i'm using a kneaded rubber and this rubber helps me so much to achieve those soft highlights they're not too sharp but very soft and it works so well on removing the charcoal yeah so like i said it's a back and forth process where you can put something then come back again you know after maybe using a blending stuff then you come back and emphasize the the strength of the cons of the contrasts that you would want to uh, achieve in your work yeah so the ear the ear is something very very interesting and uh having you know doing it at the end and you get this kind of detail it is something very extreme and amazing for me it's something that gives me energy and gives me the vibe to continue working and yeah keep going so yeah people who are like me you guys who used to um, also eat meat last or any other piece of uh, food last because it's delicious because you consider it nice um i wonder if a bomb uh, if a bomb uh, popped up somewhere and you were left with your meat your piece of chicken and you left it on the plate when you finished all the other that you considered bad what would happen but anyways coming back to the artwork as you can see i'm doing my final touches of course this work took a number of hours a number of days because uh, it took me close to three weeks and drawing on a daily spending almost eight hours per day drawing and um, yeah so it has really been quite interesting and compressing this whole process into a single video it's something very uh, intriguing as well and yeah a bit complex but I think and I hope I was able to show you uh, um, a highlight of what the drawing process was and I think you, you've enjoyed this whole process and um, yeah so signing an artwork is something very important if you're an artist and you need to define your signature you need to be sure of what your signature is going to be where your work is going to go and how you would want this work to uh, to be displayed uh, where do you want it to be displayed when do you want it to be displayed and who is going to view your work so your signature will easily market you and yeah people identify you faster and yeah so there we go and um now done i'm now done when you sign the upper this is and i'm now removing these tapes you have to be very careful use a soft tissue you know, to protect your work from those you know sometimes your hands can be sweaty so you just need to keep your work very very clean and boom that's our work and please comment in the section below Tell me what you think about this work and if you've learned something from this video still um, testifying is something very amazing and it makes us learn so this was the process and this is how it started this is how far we came and the last part the ear and till the end you can look at the cape and then the whole image Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to this channel and see you in the next one. Bye.